If I were to tell you that once Han went on an adventure which caused him to be stranded on our planet, meet an alternative version of himself, and that Chewbacca became Bigfoot, you'd probably think I was crazy, right? Well, this story sure is, so let's get into it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. So our story starts with Han and Chewie seemingly on a mission or cargo run of some sort. They're ambushed by the Empire who have sent an entire Star Destroyer after them and deployed several TIE fighters to attack them. Han notes that their Navi computer has been acting up recently and that they won't have time to calculate jump coordinates. They go into hyperspace completely blind, something very dangerous since you have no idea where you might be going. Thankfully they didn't collide with a star and die, but instead ended up outside of the known map. They had no possible way of knowing where they were, but they were losing power and fast, headed towards the only planet that seemed to contain any life, which happened to be Earth. Han hoped that they would find a repair bay for the Falcon there. As they broke through the atmosphere, the rear repulsors gave out, sending the ship on a crash course for the surface of the Earth. Slamming its way through several large trees, the Falcon came to a pretty awkward stop. After making a recovery from the crash and leaping off the walkway, Han and Chewie headed to the nearest settlement in hopes of finding assistance. The two soon find themselves being watched by people they didn't recognize. Han says his infamous line, I got a bad feeling about this, before they're attacked by Native Americans. Han gets hit across the body by several arrows and Chewie quickly dispatches the remaining enemies with his insane strength. Han calls out to Chewie and tells him that he's not going to make it. He wants to spend his final moments in the ship and as he does so, he says his final words. Always thought it would be you getting killed, saving me or my kids, trying to repay that damn life debt, but I'm going first into the great unknown. In case you don't know what Han is referring to here, the Gungans and Wookiees among others believe that when someone's life is saved, that person owes the savior something in return. Chewie stayed loyal to Han for his entire life in exchange for Han having saved Chewie when they first met. Upon Han dying in his hands, Chewie lets out a heartbreaking roar which the natives mistake as being that of Bigfoot. In case some of you guys aren't aware, Bigfoot is a well-known cryptid in certain parts of the world, with there being reported sightings of it going as far back as the earliest generations of Americans. For the next 126 years, Chewie lived on as a myth on Earth, which eventually brought legendary explorer Indiana Jones to the area to hunt for the infamous Sasquatch. This one is a bit more known to Star Wars fans, but the actor who plays Han, Harrison Ford, of course made a movie under George Lucas and Steven Spielberg known as Indiana Jones, an archaeologist who went on many, many crazy adventures on Earth. Climbing into the Millennium Falcon, Indy states that he's never seen anything like it, even in the famed underwater civilization of Atlantis. This is actually a very cool reference to an old point-and-click adventure game named Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, which I thought was pretty cool. We also get a glimpse at Short Round, one of Indy's sidekicks, in his teen years or even older. This indicates that the creators paid careful attention to the in-universe timeline of Indiana Jones, since his age here lines up with his appearances in other media. Indy notes that somehow everything here feels oddly familiar. When Short Round asks if they'll continue hunting the monster known as Bigfoot, Indy says no, that they should leave him as part of the great unknown. Little did they know that a seemingly depressed and rundown Chewbacca was silently watching them from a distance. We can only speculate how depressed Chewie must have been having to live on so long without his friend, probably being terrified of the world around him, especially as it evolved and got stranger and stranger, in a place completely unknown to him. So that is the story of how Han bumped into himself from another timeline and his best friend became a modern day mythological creature. Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this little tidbit. I mean, it was pretty shocking to see this in the comics, so join the Discord in the description down below. Make sure you subscribe and leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video.